Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try these White Castles, the original sliders. These are the jalapeno cheeseburgers, which I have not tried these. I've never actually seen these in the store before. Um, and I don't go to White Castle, so I've never tried them in the restaurant either. Um, there are six sandwiches in the box, and you get three two-packs, basically. So you get, um, you know, they're individually, or the two-pack wrapped sandwiches. Um, we bought these at Meyer for $4.29. And two sandwiches, which is one package, is 330 calories. Boy, they are not low calorie, and they're not very big either, so you'll see that in a second. Sodium is 560 milligrams, which is also not great. Um, so anyway, there's the history of White Castle, just in case you want to see it. Um, you can do this on the stove, which you're not going to do. Uh, we're going to do everything in the microwave. So you open one of the package. You can, you can do these. These are thawed out, by the way. These have been in the refrigerator. So you can thaw in the refrigerator for best results, or you can do them in the freezer. So open one end of the package, separate the sandwiches inside, microwave it high for 60 seconds if they're frozen or 35 seconds if they're thawed, and then microwave very, very, as always. So 35 seconds since these are thawed out. So let's see what they look like. I ripped the end off just so I wouldn't have to fight with it too bad. And there's the size of them. And I won't have to do, actually these are pretty, pretty well separated already. So. I'm going to open one end of these. I usually just put them on a paper plate just so I can have it easier to, to carry them. I usually make sure the cheese is, is actually squared up on there too, which looks like it's pretty good. So, I'm going to get these in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here they are out of the microwave. And uh, they smell like a typical White Castles. And there's the cheese. It looks like it's a regular White Castles um, hamburger with uh, like a jalapeno cheese on there. Or I could be wrong though. We'll see when I try them out. But I'll let this set for just a second to cool off and I'll be back. All right, I haven't had a White Castle in a restaurant for ages, but these feel like what I remember. Um, a steamed bun, so they're soft. They're not mushy, but they're soft. Um, the smell is like a typical White Castle's. Um, I, I don't see onions on here, but you know, White Castle's is known for its onions too, so. It's missing the onions, but boy does it have a jalapeno flavor, and it is spicy. I mean hot. Um, it doesn't have a lot of the flavor. I mean, you can taste a little bit of the pepper flavor, but you can definitely feel the heat in the back of your throat. So if you don't like spicy food, don't get these. But if you like spicy food, they're actually not bad. I always like the texture of White Castles. I have since I was a teenager when I would go buy bags of them, like literally 10 or 20 of them at a time. Um, White Castles are good. The only bad thing about White Castles is I usually end up burping them all day long. Like the rest of the day, I taste White Castle. This might be different since it doesn't have all the onions, which usually onions cause you to burp a lot. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll be um, the guinea pig for you. Um, probably won't come back and let you know though, but just trust me, it'll either happen or not happen. Uh, but anyway, these are pretty good. I like these. I like the flavor of these. I am missing the onion though. I wish they'd added a little bit of onion to it with the jalapeno kind of flavor. Um, I wish they just added a little bit of onion, but they didn't. So um, I'm gonna give these like a three and a half, maybe even a borderline four. They're really good. Um, if they don't come back and haunt me all day long, it would definitely be a four. Um, so I'll, I'll give it a, a borderline three and a half, four. So anyway, really good. Definitely try them out if you like, um, like a spicy hamburger, and I think you would enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.